को हम बाद में टायर ट्राई कर एक बार सी फिर एक ही आपने स्पॉइल कर लिया अरे बाबा एक बार देखो खाली साउंड काम करता है कि मैं स्पॉइल हम सही कोई और ये में जा Hi, welcome to part 9 of electromagnetic induction. In this video I shall explain the solution of question 6.7 given on page 230 of NCERT physics part 1. In this question there is a horizontal straight wire 10 meters long extending from east to west. So this is our north south east to west so there is a straight wire horizontal straight wire 10 meter long extending from east to west sorry this is east to west is falling with a speed of 5 meter per second at right angles to the horizontal component of the earth's magnetic field the earth's magnetic field is being given as 0.30 0 into 10 to the power minus 4 webers per meter square this is the horizontal component of earth what is the instantaneous value of the emf induced in the wire this is the first part of the question the second part is what is the direction of the emf and the third part is which end of the wire is at the higher electrical potential okay so if we analyze the question once again there is a horizontal wire straight wire which is the length being given as 10 meters and it's extending from east to west is falling with a speed of 5 meters per second and is at right angles to the horizontal component of the earth's magnetic field which is given as 0.30 into 10 to the power minus 4 webers per meter square so we need to find out the induced emf the direction of the induced emf and the end of the wire which is at the higher electrical potential okay before we start with the solution i just want to have a quick recap of the fleming's right hand rule because we are going to use that the thumb of the right hand rule points towards the motion of the conductor the first finger points towards the field the magnetic field and the central finger gives the direction of induced current or induced emf this is fleming's right hand rule now coming back to the question there is a 10 meter long straight wire which is falling down so the earth's magnetic field is shown because the this is the north this is east to west and this is north and south but in the case of the geographic this is the geographic north and this is the geographic south the magnetic north is in this direction and the magnetic south is in this direction so the magnetic lines of force are in this direction the conductor is perpendicular to the magnetic north south so this conductor is falling as it falls down we can assume that we can close the loop give with this dotted lines and a horizontal line on the surface of the earth so this is an imaginary loop which we are considering while doing the sum and now since there is an induced emf that means again our mind should go back to change of flux now we again know that change of flux could be due to because flux is equal to b dot a which is equal to b a cos theta it could be due to change of db dt or change of area that is da dt or due to d theta dt now in this case the magnetic field is uniform and 
this db dt is 0 because b is constant. Theta d theta dt is also 0 because there is no change in the orientation of the wire as it falls. And the angle between them is the line and the magnetic field is the length of the wire and the magnetic field is 90 degree. So the area vector, the angle between area vector and the magnetic field is 0. So cos theta is equal to 1 in this case. So phi is equal to B A. D phi dt can then be written as since d phi dt is due to change in area, we could write d phi dt is equal to b dA dt. That is the change in area. Now, if we look at the imaginary loop over here, the loop which we have formed by the dotted lines and the line on the earth's surface, surface, we see that the length remains the same and the breadth of this loop keeps changing at the rate of 5 meters in one second. It keeps decreasing at the rate of 5 meters in one second because the wire falls at the rate of 5 meter in one second. So this part dA dt can also be written as b into the length remaining the same and the breadth changing we can write it as BL into DB DT, which can also be written as BLV. Now, using the value of B given in the question, that is 0 0.3 to 10 to the power minus 4, L as 10 meters and V as 5 meter per second, we calculate the value of induced EMF, which comes to 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 volts. Now, the second part of the question says, what is the direction of the EMF? So, again, we apply Fleming's right-hand rule. Fleming's right-hand rule. So, since the wire is falling down, the thumb of our right hand should point downwards. The first finger should point towards the south and north. So, it should be pointing in this direction because this is the geographic south and geographic north. And this is the magnetic north and this is the magnetic south so it should point in a direction from magnetic north to magnetic south central finger will then be pointing towards east so the direction of the emf will be west to east now the third part of the question is which end of the wire is at the higher electrical potential so if we consider this closed loop, we see that the area of the loop enclosing the flux is continuously decreasing as the wire is falling down at the rate of as the breadth of the loop is decreasing at the rate of 5 meters in one second. So the area enclosing the flux is reducing. So the Direction of current induced had it been a closed loop would be in such a way that the flux out is, it counters the decrease of flux out. So the only way it would counter the decrease of flux out is by developing a north polarity. And hence had it been a closed loop, the current would have flown in the anti-clockwise direction so the east so current would have flown from east to west so east is at a higher potential in case of any doubts or clarifications please log on to www.olympiatester.com slash 
mentor. Thank you.